Hey everyone, it's Amy the Hey everyone, it's Amy the Skin and Lash Lady. Today I'm actually filming again in my art studio because it's quiet and my husband is not around to bother me. I've done this video like five times and he keeps coming into the into the bathroom. And we're having like major issues because we just had a tropical storm, so oh, don't even ask. Okay, but everybody's safe, everybody's okay. Today we're gonna talk about milia. What is milia? How do you get them? How do you prevent them? How do you remove them? The whole thing. So what is milia? Milia are little white bumps that are under the skin. It is oil that's stuck under there. I have had clients that have come to me with milia that have been in their skin for 10 years. It's like calcified. Now, some people are just prone to them. It's just in their genetic makeup. I have a mother-daughter duo that come to me and they are they just produce them no matter how much of prevention we do they are always getting them. So it's just something in them that's doing it. But most of my clients, that's primary milia. Most people get secondary milia, and these are the causes from what I've seen of being an esthetician for 15 years of what people are, some of the causes of milia. Um, overstripping the skin. Clients that have been using the same routine from when they were 25 and had acne to now they're 45. So they're using excessive scrubs and salicylic acids and they're not hydrating or moisturizing their skin and their skin is, 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 is dying for a drink of water. <laughs> they're over stripping the skin. My clients who are heavy makeup wearers and are not properly doing a double cleanse, makeup today, foundation today, is meant to last. It sticks into the skin. You'll hear it, double wear, 12 hour wear, 24 hour wear, smudge proof, non-transferable, primed, all these things, you gotta get it off. So if they're using their makeup wipe and that's a cleanse, it's not. You gotta do a double cleanse because you may use that makeup wipe and they usually have oil in them, and then you got to do a double cleanse to get off all the residual makeup as well as whatever product was in that cleansing cloth. So if you go to my very first video I ever post on YouTube, I talk about cleansing the skin. And what do you do when you cleanse your skin thoroughly? You're adding water to the skin. You're mixing water with your cleanser. So my heavy makeup uh, wearers get them. My clients that use baby oil to remove their eye makeup. My clients that are stripping out their skin. Um, and then I have, God love them, my older clients who are really old school and they just put on more layer of moisturizer and moisturizer and moisturizer and they end up with just exasperating it because they keep thinking my skin is dry and I'm just going to put more oil on the skin. But it's actually the skin needs water. Water is life. That is why I always tell people the best thing you can do is wash your face. <laughs> Dr. Fauci says wash your hands. The Skin and Lash Lady says wash your face. Water is life. You can live without food, but you cannot live without water. Our skin keeps our body in homeostasis, meaning it regulates our body temperature. It is the most important organ, one of the most important organs in your body. If you didn't have skin, you would be dead. That's just the way it is. And we tend to abuse it, but we're going to fix it. So you identified you have milia. Now you're going to, how do I remove it? If you go to the dermatologist, nine times out of 10, they're going to give you a prescription of Retin-A and it may remove them. It may not. And it's going to peel your skin a bit and dry it out. And they may pop out and they may not. And it's not putting hydration in the skin because dermatologists today, they don't, I don't, I love my dermatologist. My dermatologist is an oncology specialist because I have skin cancer. I don't think he's once ever extracted anything off my skin, but he does have an esthetician in the office. So sometimes they'll say microdermabrasion. It, you gotta lance that skin. So I have some clients and they buy little lancets and they do the little surgery and they do them, God bless them, and they get them out, but they come back and go to an esthetician and you're gonna have to call and ask to say, do you do milia extraction? Some states do not allow it. I am duly licensed. I am allowed to do extraction. Some states do not. And, you know, sometimes you're not going to see, it's not going to be on somebody's website or a menu. You got to pick up the phone and say, I have a lot of Amelia. I'd like to come in. Are you able to extract them? Okay. And they're going to tell you yes or no. Or they may say, come in for a consultation. Invest in it. Invest in it. And that esthetician, you're going to ask them, 
how do I prevent them from coming back? And if that esthetician doesn't tell you, your esthetician here online, Amy, the skin and lash lady, is going to tell you how to prevent them. So please invest in it. Sometimes if you're really have infested with them, you can't always get them out the first time. It could be uncomfortable for you and you, you just don't want to beat up the skin that much. So you're going to invest in this extraction. Okay. You got your milia, your milia out, your home. You're so happy. This milia is gone. What do I need to do? Well, we already, I already told you if you're a makeup wearer, you got to do that double cleanse. If you're the type that's using your scrubs and your salicylic acids, you're stripping your skin. It needs its water. So how do we get water in the skin? This is not about, I'm going to drink more water. Mm -mm. This is about, we got to get water in the skin. And that is why it's so important when I tell people, take the time and cleanse your skin once a day really well. It's going to put water in the skin, but we need other things to do. And so I always, this is my favorite go-to product. I, I want every one of my clients to always own this product. And this is the Skin Recovery Mist from Glymed. I sell it on my website. It is $37. It is four ounces. It is water with hyaluronic acid serum in it. Hyaluronic acid serum is the key. It holds a thousand times its weight in water. Nobody's going to be allergic to it. You can use it for rosacea. You can use it for acne. You can use it no matter what the color of your skin is or what your condition of your skin is. This is good for everybody. This is great. I spray it all the time. You can use it to set your makeup. This is, you, if you're carrying hand cream in your handbag, you should be carrying this. Because I tell all the girls where I used to work in corporate, because I was always a facial mist woman, I would always say, if you can put hand cream on throughout the day, then you should be putting this on. In fact, you should be putting this on your hands. And if you, if you're an esthetician, you may agree. You're going to, when we go to spray this on people, we cover their eyes and we spray. My left hand is less wrinkly than my right hand from being sprayed so many times from hyaluronic acid serum. I was trying to find a comp online to this product and all the ones were the same price or they were half the amount for more money. There's a lot of sprays on there, like in the $10 range. They don't have hyaluronic serum in there. Rose water, they're infused with coconut oil. They're fine. Um, I just prefer a lot of bang for my buck, and I want to have that hyaluronic serum. I have really dry skin. I, I, I This is one of the best things. I can tell when I'm spraying all day. I come home, and like people always say to me, like, your skin is just glowing. I mean, this is probably the best thing I can do. So if you don't want to invest in it, fine. But you need to put on product when your skin is damp. You come out of the shower, you put on your eye serum, you put on your serum. And I'm always talking about these two serums. And they're also hyaluronic acid serum based. And it's the CeraVe version and the Hydrogel from Glymed, also on my website. This one, and somebody said, you know, this one, sometimes they peel and they flake. When I use this product, it flakes. Um, when I use this one, it doesn't. So this one is under $20. This one is a little bit more than double the amount. This is one ounce. I think this is one point, this is almost 1.7 ounces. Um, and this is double the price, but it's a professional grade product. So this one's a little thicker. It's a um, opaque cream. This one's almost empty. And so this one is a little sheerer. And as you can see, this one, you may not see in the camera, this one's starting to, to drip and this one's staying in place. So um, this one is, like I said, it's a pro grade product and that's the one I use and it does not flake. And I'm gonna spray my skin, which I just did. My skin is damp and I'm gonna put on my hyaluronic acid serum because I want all that water in the skin. And this is going to grab water and it's going to make sure it's in my skin. So as I told people before, hyaluronic acid serum is natural in the body. It keeps it when we're young smooth. And as we get older, it starts to um, reduce and that's how we get crepery skin. And as we get older, we're not producing it as much. So we have to introduce it from the outside. Um, so these are like the best products. So here's a budget friendly one and here's a pro one. I will put all the links below. Then we need to seal it in. I'm in my art studio, so I do not have it. And then you put on your moisturizer and moisturizer. The purpose of moisturizer is to lock in all of your, the water. It seals in the water. So think about it. I, I know people, they go, I only put my moisturizer in the morning. Well, you know what? In the morning, you should have makeup on and stuff, whatever. You should be spraying all day. At night, when we go to sleep, we're sleeping between like four and eight hours. 
we're not hydrating, we're not drinking anything, we're not eating anything, our body's in repair, and our face is exposed, and all it's doing is everything's evaporating out. And the moisturizer is to seal everything in. So at night, when I wash my face, I may forget my moisturizer in the morning because I'm putting on my sunblock. Maybe I don't want a lot of layers on. I never leave the house with I never leave the house without putting these two on. You know, I cleanse my skin, I put on my eye serum, I put on my peptide serum, I spray my skin, I put on my hyaluronic acid um, serum, and then I put on my moisturizer because I want to lock it all in. It's important to seal it in. But it's getting that water in the skin. And like I said, it's like get yourself a facial spray. And if it's not this one, get one that is affordable for you. Use it. You know, these are great. You're sitting at your desk. You, you know, if you're, if, you, if you're up north and it's cold and, it's, and you're sitting in heat, that, that strips your skin. How many people say, oh, my God, it's winter. My skin is horrible. Spray missed it. I'm in Florida. Air conditioning dehydrates the skin as well. It's as bad as central heating, and where it's evaporating all the time. Get yourself a facial spray. Whether you have milia or not, your skin will thank you. You know, you can keep it in your handbag. They this they think they make a travel size. Um, find one that you like that's affordable. I don't like scents or anything. This one has no scent in it. Um, I don't want fragrances. I have a lot of allergies. It can be a lot of irritant um, on it. And so I'm just reading it's aqua and hyaluronic acid and a few other things. Um, mist entire face and neck immediately after cleansing and before application of other glymid products. Mist all over or shower or after your bath or your total body. You know, I never really thought about using it over my total body and I should because I have really dry skin. I wonder if they make like an industrial size spray. <laughs> I'm kind of goofy today. So there you have it. I see so many. I've been getting so many people on Instagram who have been sending me their photos. And they go, I have milia. I, they call them milk bumps. And they're telling me their skin routine. And it's they're stripping out. It's all you got to get the water in your skin. You got to cleanse your skin. You got to make time. It's Even if it's three minutes, put the timer on for three minutes. Lather up your hands with your cleanser. That's one layer of water. Pat dry. Don't take all, you know, even if you splash your face with water and get this stuff on you because hyaluronic acid serum needs to have water in it for it to really work well. It's a really big molecule and it wants to hold a lot of water. Um, and there you have it. So hopefully you can stay milia free. Please find yourself an esthetician who can lance them and extract them out. And then the whole key is to preventing them and the skin needs its water. So remember, what do I always say at the end? You got to wash your face.